So Pierce, how's it going? Yeah, it's very, uh, it's uh, pretty special this morning. We found a, a, a crack in the boat last night. Um, we did a rushing to fix. Uh, the guys were working on it last night, and uh, this morning, so the boat's still still not built yet. Just had the briefing for today, but the, uh, the factory are on it with us, and they're um, hoping to get us patched up in time. Uh, for the, uh, the start of the coastal. Uh, we're not really sure why there's a split there, but it does explain why we felt a little bit slow yesterday, carrying around six litres of water in the front of the boat in a closed compartment. Um, but uh, yeah, otherwise, up, apart from the, uh, the small hole, uh, we did think go really well. We uh, feel we've been improving every day, fighting a bit more on the starts. Um, had a couple of you know, nice front row starts and clean acceleration, which is good. Sometimes up there, uh, mixing with some of the top guys in the fleet. So yeah, no, we're really happy uh, just with uh, the progress day on day that we're making, and hopefully the results will come. So we're a third of the way into the tour now. How do you feel? What do you feel you've learned in the first uh, the first third? And how does it compare to your expectations? Um, I mean, so I think consistency is the one thing that I've learned. You know, this fleet really does not make mistakes. Um, Everyone here just at least does the race and you know, they can get around the course cleanly in one piece without making any mistakes on boat handling, not one bad tack, not one bad jive, that's what the, the top guys are doing. Um, and so nailing that has been, uh, has basically been our key objective. Um, so how it compares to my expectations, it's, I, sort of, I did expect it to be really difficult, but it, it is really difficult. I think one thing that we found harder than we thought is just the relentless uh, nature of the transfers, uh, so um, Jolimil to here, um, uh, John Kerr to Fekon. Um, How much sleep have you had last night? Uh, I had two hours of sleep last night <laughs> <laughs> because of the because uh, of the, the, the crack. Um, but um, yeah, no, we're um, I think that and just um, always, always pushing. That's uh, the other thing that this uh, that I, this little fleet's been teaching is that you absolutely. You know, you think you can uh, take it easy for a second when you've got a gap on the start, but absolutely not. You've got to, got to send it 100% of the time. What, do, what support do you have in terms of your team? Are you doing it all yourselves? Uh, we're doing it all ourselves. We have four sailors with us, and the resting sailor will double up as a shore team. So it's not really a lot of rest, because especially on transfer day, he's there packing down the tent. Uh, we've got a videographer with us, so um, a surprise to him, I think, more than a surprise to us that he's getting stuck in with some of the shore work <laughs> as well. Um, but uh, yeah, he sort of found himself lifting rigs and going, what, what's this, what's a halyard? Um, but yeah, so it's pretty much just, just us and so whoever we can rope in off the street to, uh, to help us get on the water. This is a long-term project for you? Yes, it is, yeah. So we're hoping that the, the tour is a sort of, sort of five-year project for us. We're hoping to build the team every year, come back and keep learning and hopefully in a few years' time be a, be a really competitive team here at the Top Cross. Okay. Thank you very much.